I think there, I knew once the test player of the year got announced, you sort of had an indication of where you might be. And I thought, um, you know, when I saw Smithy second place, I thought it's going to be a very, very tight one. And, um, you know, it ended up being a tight one. But we know that the test weights more than the ODIs and obviously the 2020s, but there was none this year. So, look, I was, yeah, I was real nervous. I couldn't believe that I'd actually I got across the line. Given the lots of half centuries in uh, England missing out in the first innings, um, really made me hungry and determined to try and switch back on and um, score big runs and start the summer well. And that was, you know, I was either sit on the couch and moan about my broken thumb or actually do something about it. And then, thankfully enough, I spoke to a, a mate of ours, Roger Fabry, who um, said to me that he would be happy to work with me about doing some running and sprinting. And that's something that, you know, really held me in good stead for the for this summer. I think, um, you know, I I'll, I'll owe a lot of credit to him for getting me up and going. Um, it's always tough to to break a, any part of your body or break down and come home and, and want to get back into a fitness regime. It's something that you just want to pick up the bat and keep trying to continue some form. And for me, it was about back, going back in the paddock and, and getting my fitness right to be in the right frame of mind come the New Zealand series. And, yeah, it was, a, it was an amazing, amazing summer.